All right, what's up, Hot Squad, and welcome back. So, yes, Hot Squad, finally here. The last final reactions of the year is finally here. And for the first time ever, I'm doing eight reactions in one day. That's right, I'm doing one re eight reactions in one freaking day. Because tomorrow, I'm on my vacation. I will not be returning reactions until after New Year's. So, I'm ready to get it on, y'all. I'm ready to get this on. Thank y'all guys so much for joining me in my last reactions. And first of all, no, thank you actually for joining me for the rest of the year for every single reaction I did for the rest of the year. I know it's been a painfully busy year for me because um, I graduated college. You know, I try to figure out what's my next move at the college, you know, going back um, at the summer and me working and trying to get, you know, trying to make ends meet, trying to do as much reactions as I can every single month. But yes, Hot Squad, I'm finally back for you, final reactions for y'all. So I am so freaking ready. So ready to get those reactions. So I'm going to say what's a reaction I'm going to react to, as you may know, if you're not seeing my post. So here I go. So from going from one to eight, we're going to start with two Cool Uno 9 videos. And they are called recaps, by the way. And this is from Iron Man. This is from his Iron Man recap. And it's called Tony Stark got out in the mud literally and become the GOAT Iron Man. His John Wick Chapter 4 recap, and it's called That Time John Wick Solo the Entire City Just to Kill One Man. I have also two Zephyr recaps, his Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame recap. His Avengers, his, um, excuse me, I'm trying to speak. His Infinity War recap is called The Avengers Pull Up Game is Top 1, and his Endgame one is a, The Avengers Spin a Block of Thanos. Then I have a Blank Boy Transformers recap, and that is called Optimus Prime. The King of Violating Decepticons and IG Captains. Hilarious um, title. And I have three trailers for y'all. And so the first trailer I'm going to react to is the Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. Or Beverly Hills Cop 4. If it's a trailer, yes, it's, it's finally made. It's finally coming. Then, next, I have the Kung Fu Panda official trailer. Yes, that's coming. What? Kung Fu Panda coming back after God knows how long I've seen the trilogy? That is crazy. And also, to top it off, to end it, I have my official third trailer reaction for Doom Part 2. So this is going to be a hell of a day. I'm trying to get through as much as I can. I will be doing no intros, talking this and that. What side we upload every single intro from this point forward for the rest of the year so I can get straight to it, you know, because... I don't want to be out of breath while talking, what not doing these intros. But Hot Squad, what for you to do? It's now time to enjoy these reactions for the rest of the year. And Hot Squad, let's get straight into it right now. Hope y'all enjoying. It's about to go down. And now our feature presentation. My boy Tony was chilling in the Humvee, having all the soldiers hop on a Shaboing Boing. <laughs> Shaboing Boing. And explode. So all the soldiers get out of the Humvees, telling Tony to stay in there, and then they all get cooked. So yep. Tony does what white man does best, and that's run away from his problems. <laughs> Until his problems turn out to be his own message that he sold. And now when he got time huh? rope, and now he got <laughs> about 37,000 pieces of shrapnel in his chest. Shit, so man. after getting blew up, he wakes up, and he's been captured by the Ten Rings. They asked Tony to make them a Jericho missile out of all the missiles they've stolen from Dark Industries and some scraps they got in this cave. Or we gonna boom you. Oh yeah, and he got this metal magnet reactor in his chest, making sure the shrapnel doesn't reach his heart, keeping him alive. But while all this is happening, Tony's starting to have a coming to Jesus moment. He's like, damn. I might not have been the best person my whole life. What's <laughs> me and the bro get out of here? I forgot to mention Yensen, but he saved Tony. Yeah, so sure Tony did. and Yensen are building the Jericho missile, but Yensen starts looking at this hole like, wait a minute, that don't, that don't look like no damn bomb. And Tony's like, yeah, no, I'm making a suit of armor. I'm finna get us out of here. And out of literal scraps and some missile leftovers, Tony builds the Mark I. Yensen tries to boot it up for Tony, but it's not enough time. They boom, Yensen. And now Tony is getting ready to cook all these dudes in a blind fit of rage. Hmm. I'm talking about a little bro pulls up in the cave in the dark and Tony's hiding in the shadows. Who does bro think he is? Batman? <laughs> but he socks the Ooh. mess out of bro, sending him flying back 50 feet. The other three dudes that were there that saw that happen just start firing randomly. But Tony pulls up, blocking all the shots with yep. his armor. Ain't Backhand that. bro on the left and then backhand bro on the right. And then he hits bro in front of him with his nasty ass Damn. white hook. He starts walking down the hallway, clearing it out, hitting dudes with back hands, punching them back 30,000 feet. And I just gotta ask, after you see your co-worker get flung 30 feet back, why are you still trying to fight this dude, man? Your bullets aren't working, so like, why even try? Some dude tries to run away, and Tony just hits bro with this nasty back fist. Oh, nah, I had him doing flips and everything. Yep. 
but these guys start to watch <laughs> the same man they see was. Tony walking towards them and they start running away but the guy at the very end starts taking pot shots at Tony still trying to get some licks in hmm. and you know what bro's friend said they said we not having none of that locked them outside leaving him with Tony yep. if I was doing and I made it out of alive I'm hunting those three dudes for the rest of my life <laughs> we don't even know what happened to bro he just started screaming and then he stopped and Tony opened Tony the door knows. I can only assume he got turned into ethereal dust but after Tony opens the door, he hits someone else yeah. with another backhand. But now he's his arm stuck in the rocks. And then this dumbass pulls up on Tony with the Glock. Real it's slowly. Picture, trying man. to shoot him in the head. I don't know what bro thought uh, would happen. If every other part of this suit of armor was bulletproof, what about. makes you think the head isn't specifically bulletproof too? He shoots Tony in the head, but his bullet ricochets yep. off of Tony and booms Trust himself. It. I know dude is in the afterlife. Tight. Tony pulls up and he sees Jensen on 3% health right now, but then the 10 rings leader tries to shoot Tony with a rocket launcher. But Tony <laughs> dodges the shot and then drops some rocks on bro. And then he's trying to save Jensen, but Jensen's like, hey dude, I'm already cooked bro. Go on ahead, do this without me dog. So Tony comes out the cave and then the 10 rings members start letting the yopper spray on the Iron Man suit until all their clips are empty. And then Tony like, you know what? It's my turn. Yep. And he starts literally Stop burning. cooking these guys yep. alive. Tony then starts burning all the missiles that they stole from him. And then the entire base blows up mm. and Tony hits the jets literally and flies out of there but tony really didn't have a chance to test out you know flying because he was in captivity so he yep. crash lands he gets <laughs> up some helicopters find him and now tony's back home after bro is back home he's like you know what we're not <laughs> gonna make bombs anymore and over dies like bro what are you doing <laughs> You must be tripping, bro. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't listen to him. We're still making bombs. <laughs> we fast forward a bit, and Tony's made the Mark II and the Mark III suit. He sees that Yinton's hometown is getting attacked by the Ten Rings and some of the missiles that they still stole from Tony. And so he's like, you know what? Time to put this suit I just built to good work. Tony pulls up on the terrorist, but golly, bro, look at bro. He got an arm right on him. Why did he throw a little bro like that? That's not cool. I just feel bad for bro that got hit first because Tony pulled up on him and punched him. <laughs> Kylie, look at how many flips bro did in the <laughs> air. So Tony then booms the guy on his left and then the guy on his right and then he double blasts the guy in front of him. And I'm just saying double blasts got to hurt like crazy. Sound effects. So some of the terrorists are holding hostages saying, hey, if you move, we're going to cook everybody here. So Tony pulls out the shoulder <laughs> missiles and claps all of them up, easy work. But look at bro, trying to hide. Tony not letting you slip through his fingers, <laughs> gang. So he grips bro up through the wall and he throws him to the people. Tony flies away and says, hey, y'all can deal with him. I just know they stomp bro out like what happened in that yep, one episode in part five of JoJo's. Tony starts flying away, trying to blow up the Jericho missiles they stole from him. But then he gets shot out of the air yep. by a tank. Yep. The tank tries to shoot Tony one more time, but Tony just nonchalantly sidesteps out of the way <laughs> and then shoots a missile at the tank, blowing it up. And Tony still blows up the Jericho missiles. <laughs> Getting rid of all the terrorists in the mirror. We skip forward a bit, and it turns out that Obadiah bald whole ass <laughs> the one yep. that got Tony captured yep. in the first place. And then he turns on the people that captured Tony so he could take the Mark I <laughs> blueprints for himself and make it bigger and better to ultimately sell the ultimate weapon, which is just a suit of armor for the everyone. <laughs> So Obadiah gets people to make the warmonger suit and then he pulls up on Tony inside his own house and rips his arc reactor mm. out of bro's chest. Pepper found out about Obadiah building the warmonger suit and she calls S.H.I.E.L.D. to come pull up on bro but it was a little too late. Cause they pull up and then this yep. big dumb stupid ass robot pops <laughs> up from out the shadows and starts cooking everybody. Talking about, look at the way bro backhanded this shield agent. But in that same stance, why would you see something that big, that fast run at you and you're still shooting it with Exactly, y'all. I would have dead. I'm not gonna lie, bro kind of deserve that. Pepper gets out the building, but Obad died. Just starts tunneling out the ground. I'm telling you, beef is never that serious. To where <laughs> a point I gotta start tunneling out the ground. Like, you got it at that point. But bro pulls out a Gatlin gun and was finna start booming Pepper, but Tony pulls up yep. for the clutch just in time. Yep. And he grabs up a die and go flying under the ground through the building Damn. and finally onto the highway. But Ironmonger picks up a car with a full ass family in it, but then Tony says, hey, <laughs> put him down and chest blast bro. He catches the car while it's in the air putting the family down. And then Obadiah violates. He pulls up on Tony, grabs some dude's bike off of him, and then he just yeah. smacked the mess out of Tony. Oh, nah. Yeah, this, and then, bro, football punched the yeah. mess out of Tony. Picks him up and then slams him on the ground. 
He starts stomping on Tony while he's on the ground. And then he picks bro up like an actual toy. Look at this size comparison. Sheesh. No way am I letting another <laughs> grown man pick me up with one hand. Seriously, man. In his hand. Like, that's crazy. Obadiah then throws Tony into a bus and shoots him. That man never gets old, man. It's crazy. Ooh. But Tony recovers, and then he starts flying all the way up to maximum altitude, and Obadiah quickly follows. But Obadiah never checked the freezing quality because bro is now in the atmosphere, and he freezes up in the air. Tony gives bro a good bonk on the head, and he starts <laughs> falling right back down. Tony also falls back down because bro is on 2% juice right now in his Iron Man suit. Tony takes off his right glove getting ready to get out the Iron Man suit because he thinks he's won. But Obadiah pulls up and was finna hit Tony with the nastiest right glove I've ever seen. Shoot. But Tony dodged. He <laughs> was about to counter with a hand blast, but he just took that glove off. And Obadiah yep. still rocked Tony. Damn. Had that bro spinning like a Beyblade. But then he <laughs> comes back to Obadiah and hits him with a Superman punch. But that ain't even really do nothing to bro. Because he grabs Tony and starts bear hugging him. Tony then hit Obadiah with a flashbang and he let go. Bro starts hiding and he's talking <laughs> to Pepper telling her, hey, Jordy, I'm going to need you to turn up that arc reactor so he can boom, bro. So while Pepper is doing that with the arc reactor, Tony jumps on Ironmonger's back and starts ripping out bro's cords. Ironmonger grips Tony by the head and then launches bro. Oh, nah. <laughs> and then Ironmonger is a typical villain spiel. He opens up the Ironmonger cockpit and then he just starts talking crazy for hella long, too. But he's trying to shoot at Tony, but Tony messed up bro's lock on. So he's just missing aimlessly. And bro is still yapping, he <laughs> to sleep. But Tony says, Pepper, go ahead, flip the switch. And the arc reactor shoots a goddamn Kamehameha, booming over dying. Like, look at the sky. Are you sure Shenron's not finna come down and grant me a wish? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the end of the fight. Tony won. Or of the story is, don't fight a robot man that got red on him. <laughs> either Optimus Prime or Iron Man. Don't want any of <laughs> that's good problems. advice. But, uh, yeah, man, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. All right. Great recap, Kuno. Awesome recap. You know, it's been a long time I've seen Iron Man. I I would say since, what came out? It came out in 2008, right? I think it came out in 2008. 15 years ago it came out. I mean, damn. The one that started all is insane how far the MCU came, man. Really is. Seriously, man. But yeah, overall, W recap, Kuno. Keep up the great work. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I, I have another who on a recap, and that is for John Wick Chapter 4. So I'm so excited to see that. That's actually his last recent one. No, recent one just came out. But yes, I'm very excited to see his recap for John Wick Chapter 4. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to the recap of Iron Man by Ku Uno, please hit the like button, comment, share your thoughts. What is your favorite MCU movie? How old you were since Iron Man came out? And, you know, basically MCU related. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I'm my reaction for John Wick Chapter 4 recap. Baku Uno reaction coming in a few moments. So, of course, stay tuned.